I'm Lisa, and today we're looking at automating graphics using Excel spreadsheets in After Effects. It's something that I use for broadcasting graphics and it works really well with reactive text boxes, which I've shown in previous videos. So let's look how that this is done. Firstly, it does use a preset, which I have purchased, but it is something that is a bit simpler. And so it's not quite as expensive, but it's still really powerful if you're using the basics of automation. First, I've made a spreadsheet um, and you see that they've got title. So for this one, I've got the comp, which will refer to the comp that we have made, a name, a title and a title too. So for this example, I am using lower thirds. I'm going to be basing it on the After Effects project I've used for um, the reactive text previously. So if you want to refer to that um, to see how that is set up in the first place. So to get the Excel spreadsheet into something that you can use in After Effects, you want to download it if it's on Google Drive, or you can just save as um, a .tsv. So looking at the project that I have set up, I have got here a name, a job title, line one, a job title, line two. Now what we need to do to make sure that the Excel spreadsheet actually refers to the right things is we need to go in and put a carrot in front of all of these and to make sure they're named correctly will be carrot and then name. This one we carrot and title. And the reason we use the carrot is it, it's what the um, script searches for. It's carrot title two. Then what you need to do is make sure you have open the comps from spreadsheet. Now you can go into your window or you will need to install this. This does come up as its own window. And these are the different options that actually help you create from scratch your project. It's just I like to do it the other way around because I have a bit more control about what I'm creating and then just renaming them afterwards. So then run comps from spreadsheet and this opens up a dialog box which you can select your text. The name title and title two is what it's finding within your spreadsheet and then you need to tell it which composition or which line to, to use within your After Effects. What it will do is to create a folder within After Effects with all your different compositions in. So you will need to name this something appropriate. Now this is, um, it will automatically put it into the render queue as well. So you will need to choose what settings you want. And this is where it's really handy. If you've got some presets, you can choose the presets. So whether you need it as an alpha channel or a particular output for a certain broadcast, this is where you'll choose it. You can save settings. And then all you need to do is hit OK. Now come up with this dialog box so it can save another version of the whole project. I don't really need that, so I will not select that. This will take different amounts of times depending on how complicated your spreadsheet is. And it's already gone straight to the render queue and it's created a folder here with all the different ones in. So if we just click on them and just double check what they're like, as you see in the previous video, I can create these if else expressions, which then mean you can automate graphics even more. So if you've got only two lines, it will get rid of the third line completely and move things around. So it's worth checking that video out just to see how you can switch on and off layers if they're not needed. And obviously at the beginning, you could see um, in the spreadsheet, you had the option of comp one and comp two. So I want to make a version of comp two so that we can test this out to see how the script actually then looks on different versions. So what I'll do is I'll just change the color of one of them. And that layer. Great, so now we've got a comp two, which is a green version. So now what I want to do is I'll go back into the spreadsheet. I can change those into comp twos. So I'm going to download that. I'll do the same process. We'll open the box, run comps from spreadsheet, choose the one I want. And then in the dialog box, we'll just check that those are correct again, create another version. So then this one has, so then this one has gone green. 
this one's still black and the animations still work. So I hope that's helped you see a quick overview onto how to use comps from spreadsheets and how you can start automating your graphics. If you like this video, hit subscribe and let us know in the comments box if you want to see any other videos.